Who's buying whipped shea butter for $40? Hey guys, Sha here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So anyway, today's honest review is going to be about a few, how can I say this? <clears throat> really expensive whipped shea butter. And I'm talking about the Fenty, the Fenty Skin Body Butter and the new Keys Soul Care Body Cream. If you are interested in knowing whether or not you should be investing in Fenty or Keys Soul Care Body Cream, stay tuned and I will let you know. All right, so as I said earlier, both of these body creams are $39. And when I first heard that, I was just taken aback like, who's buying whipped shea butter for $40? So Fenty is pretty much loaded with oils. I'm going to have somewhere in the screen exactly what's in the Fenty. And Alicia Keys is pretty much, well, the Keys Soul Care is pretty much different butters and ceramides. I'll have the comparison of the two up on the screen. Now, effectiveness. I'm just going to show you the color differences between the two. So you can see that the Fenty Butter is more white than the Key Soul Care. It's pretty yellow. Consistency, I'm going to say that the Fenty, it's you can easily spread this. It's very, very easy to spread. You get that nice shine. It's very moisturizing. For the Keys Soul Care, it's very thick. It's very thick. You have to really work it. You gotta really work it in order for you to spread that all over your body. Using both of these butters, okay, I found myself using the Fenty Skin Butter more daily, daytime, just regular moisturization. When it came to the Keys Soul Care, I really treated this as a luxurious body cream. It's really heavy, it's really thick. I love the scent. In reference to um, how great it is in moisturizing and everything like that, Fenty, and the Key Soul Care, they both work really, really great. But I found that the Key Soul Care, when I would put it on at night, I would wake up in the morning not really feeling the need to re-moisturize. When it comes to Fenty, I find it to be more of a all day moisturizing body cream, but I'm not gonna say that I wake up in the morning not wanting to put, um, cream on but it smells nice um the Fenty skin I would say it's a little on the sweeter side but it's really really nice I find that the key soul care it's very unisex it has a very luxurious smell and I've said this before about the key soul care line at least I believe I've said it before that that line like one thing that is really special about that line is that it's something you think you would get at a hotel and she continues that with the body cream. I wasn't really into getting the body wash because I am a downright Olay girl. Like you would really have to convince me out of that body wash. But the body cream is just really, 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 really nice. Like you could really impress someone with this. The packaging is beautiful. This is a glass jar. Like when this is done, I am not going to want to throw this jar away, just like with the Golden Cleanser. I finished that Golden Cleanser a while ago and I am currently now reusing it as a hand soap dispenser. Same thing with this. If I don't end up repurchasing this body cream, I'm going to reuse this for something. It is beautiful. It's purple. It's glass. Like I, I, I just, I'm going to have a hard time throwing this away. 
for the Fenty skin, I find myself like you could. This is something you can throw in your bag and walk around, no issues. And you you know how we get like when we have that lotion that we really love, you are throwing that in your work bag, your school bag, your baby bag. That's your that's your cream. This one, the Key Soul Care. This stays home. This stays home on your dresser in your bathroom. This is my cream this is mommy's cream this is like you we don't need to share this when it comes to whether or not i would repurchase either one this is a pretty expensive cream period they're both for me right i am all about choosing what you can afford and for me when it comes to something that i'm going to use every day i tend to be a little bit more cautious about how much money i'm spending um to buy a $40 cream every two to three months, honestly, you have to choose whether or not, whether or not that is something you want to afford. I mean, they're like little luxuries. So, I mean, I wouldn't be mad about it. I would find definitely see myself repurchasing this, the Key Soul Care. It's just so, it feels so nice. I, I really do like this cream. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope I kept it nice and short and sweet. If you are deciding on whether or not you wanna buy the Fenty Skin or the Key Soul Care, I would say if you are creating a back to school package for a young girl who's going off to college or even high school and you wanna get them something really nice, I would definitely go with the Fenty Buttercream. I think they will get more mileage out of this and they'll just be happy using this every day. But let's just say you're creating a package for, I don't know, it's a afterbirth, like a postpartum package, a happy Mother's Day package, just something for someone older, like a spa package, like you're creating a spa package for your best friend, your wife, your sister. I would definitely get the key soul care. This is definitely something that it's heavy. You put this in whatever gift basket you're putting together, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh. I'm impressed like you really thought about this so this is very giftable to me for someone maybe a little older spa just looking for a little bit more luxury this screams luxury all right so that's pretty much it guys I will see you in the next video I'm not even gonna say if it's tomorrow next week next month we we already know what we're doing here but I am coming to you next time okay bye